God's light shines through everything. Especially your fucking lies. Oh, my life may soon be gone. I hope you carry on. Remember me as one who would not heal. Fight with blood. Fight with steel. Die with honor. What's up folks, it's Wix. I'm going to drill something into people's heads here that a fucking two-year-old should get. I keep telling you, America is following the same steps as Nazi Germany did when they were getting up to the rise of their power and their dictatorship. To the letter. First, let me show you some maps. Now, one map in particular, I think it's on here. There it is. So, that this is a map of the German prisoner camps. And uh, there's the head right there, and it just happened to make a pentagram let me show you and it's not a coincidence that you know they have the United States maps in here too so let's go and look back here we'll get to that in a minute no not the same map this is a map of Washington DC the cities a lot of cities around the world are laid out like this mapped out like this they pick certain people to design the maps for them and then the map designers pick certain people to build them this is not a coincidence okay now I should have stayed. Let me go back here. A lot of shit here. A lot of shit. Watch me put it together for you. Now, it tells all about how it was made up and this. The steps that they took to get here. Just look at the look at the map. Just look at it. Okay. Look at the towns. Okay, these aren't like this isn't in fucking middle of nowhere. This is densely populated. DC. Perfect fucking pentagram. It all lines in with the uh, with all the monuments. You name it. Name the monument. Bing. Name the monument. Bing. Name the monument. Bing. That ain't no fucking coincidence. I ain't even close to done yet. Oh, you you morons. Who think that this is all a big fucking joke? All you gotta do is type one of these words in and you should fucking get something. If you look at the old Nazi maps, how the camps are fenced in and shit. Looks an awful lot like the American ones that they aren't building right now. Oh, 
past it. Timeline of events. You want, to, want me to show you how I know the future? All the time? And look, it was less than 15 years. How long is a president's term last? Yeah. And he, listen, the only reason, this was all a beta test. For the fucking Illuminati, man, the New World Order. It was all, the Nazi shit was all a beta test to see how far they could fucking go with it before someone put a stop to it. And they found out they can get pretty fucking far. I'm, I'm tying all this together. I'm making a humongous fucking story after this. That is incredible. How all of this ties in. Now listen. They keep talking that Obama is going to be assassinated. Or the Pope is. And he's gonna, but he's gonna survive. And that's where it kind of gets curvy and shit like that. Nevertheless, that is biblical prophecy. It's Islamic prophecy as well. Now, yet again, not another coincidence. Look at some of the steps that happened. Look at the timeline of events in Germany. First, assassinated the fucking president, Archduke. And his wife. Chopped her fucking head off. Then. You had Ottoman authorities. Arresting the leaders of the government. Let's just say fucking Russia is coming in. And now they're starting to round up. All the fucking guys in government. And everyone's like yay. Next. Some of the heaviest loss of war. That's when they was fighting the fucking citizens and the foreign troops. Treaty of Versailles, okay? Uh, if you don't know about that, then this is going to happen, obviously. There's already been countries across the fucking world who have indicted George Bush and a bunch of other people and Barack Obama and a bunch of other people and a bunch of fucking people in the UK for war crimes. Yes, they, the fuck they didn't. I did like five fucking videos on it. Go and fucking type it in. George Bush and Obama convicted of war crimes, asshole. You wanna, you wonder why they don't fucking go to certain countries? You wonder why George W. Bush is shit in his fucking pants to even leave his house in Texas? Why he's got, why Obama just signed a fucking order to put secret service agents for every single ex-president on 24-hour guard that when you're done being president that's it no more guard for you you're a fucking citizen in fact while you are president you're lower than a citizen the citizens tell you what to do schmuck look at the fucking timeline of events so they, they that shit happens boom assassination and you round up all the fucking crooked government. What's next? Hitler issues his first written comment on the so-called Jewish question. Okay, same thing with Obama and the fucking terrorists, the Islamists. Adolf Hitler presents 25-point plan. Hitler and Nazi party attempt to overthrow Weimar Republic. Hitler becomes leader of the reestablished Nazi party. See, now a lot of people are thinking Obama's gonna fucking get assassinated. Or whatever, is it his clone? His double? Uh, or he's gonna survive it? And it's, it says in prophecy that he will survive the shot and People will, will be able to just look at him and see that he is the beast. And and it says that, um, yeah, he survives the bullet. 
well, I, I think it says, it might say, like, uh, I'm not sure if people are able to recognize that or not. But, uh, yeah, he's already here. If you don't know the story of Anne Frank, you better recognize, motherfucker. It's one of the most incredible stories in history. So, you know, here this guy comes, just like fucking Obama. Yeah, everyone loves his speeches and shit, and then he gets in the fucking office and he rams it right up your ass and fucking lies everything that comes out of his mouth. Oh, not, no, not close. Now this here. This is Agenda 21 maps in the United States. This is the biodiversity map. And all of us been telling you over the years about the fucking 200 square foot apartments they're going to have you living in. And you're not going to be able to get out of the city. It's fucking FEMA camp time. And everyone laughed and laughed and laughed. Listen, fools, what the fuck does that say here? Can you read? You need some help? First of all, these red parts, those are core reserves and corridors. Little to no human use. You can't fucking go there no more. You got it? Well, I'm going to show you some shit Grindel did like six months ago. And that's the reason I'm doing this story right now is because Jerry Brown just came out and basically declared martial law for that shooting. The fucking shooting happened last week. Why is he coming out now with this shit? Very good reason, George. Folks. They're stealing people's property. They're buying up the farms. They're creating storms, tornadoes and shit, to ruin people's homes so they can push them where they want them to go. And then when they fucking move and leave the land, the government comes and cleans it up, and it's fucking government land now. Look at here in Nevada, almost 90 fucking percent owned by the government. There's five fucking families in that whole state. That own a farm. Clive and Bundy was one of them. They almost got his ass out of there and there was almost a fucking revolution there. They're starting to fuck with him again. And on top of that. Take a, take a look, take a listen. This is Grindel's video from like six months ago. Today is June 1, 2015. I have here in front of me a newspaper article that is of major, major right. importance. I made it Rim of the Valley Court of Southern California Open Okay, so this is what it's called Rim of the Valley. It's a huge project here in California. And this is incredible. Now, they're saying that uh, there's these crazy activists talking about, uh, you know, these maps. And they're saying as part of Agenda 21, we don't even know what Agenda 21 is. <laughs> but folks, these are all different. Santa Monica. These, this is right in Santa Monica. And... Um, These are their options, A, B, C, and D, and the, the one that they're looking for is this one, is D. Um, it's not, it's not good, but we didn't get to the maps yet, and I'm going to make sure I got all this shit together, so stick by. And I'll be back 
in a minute with some more shit to prove to you that Agenda 21 has been in place for years like we've all been saying you've just been stuck in fucking denial and more proof coming up soon